Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to record your computer screen uh, with OBS Studio or uh, Open Broadcaster software. So I'm going to show you how to record your screen and how to record your webcam, your audio from your microphone and also system sound. And uh, I will also show you some setting that you want to to do when you start use uh, want to start using this uh, software. I know that uh, OBS Studio is a free software and it is very powerful. By the way, there's so many features in this software uh, that many many beginners uh, may feel uh, confused about this software and how to use it and yeah, stuff like that and it is exactly what I was was before uh, by the way I stopped using this uh, software for a while maybe five months or six months uh, or so because I I think it is um, it is better for me to use another professional uh, screen recording software like uh, like Camtasia or Active Presenter because I will have my mouse cursor and also I have the power to edit my video. Uh, by the way, it is still a good a good software for beginners uh, who don't have uh, enough money to purchase other screen recording software. Okay, so this tutorial will be very simple. I will show you only some important things and settings that you want to, to do in OBS Studio. Otherwise, then, uh, other than uh, go along with all the features and everything, okay? Uh, so the first step, uh, you need the software. So if you, uh, you don't have OBS Studio yet, you can go to this uh, website, obsproject.com to download the software. It is available on both Windows and Mac OS and Linux. So you can uh, select here. Uh, for Windows, you click here, and for Mac OS, you can click here. So link to this software will be in the description. You can check it out, okay? So supposing that you already downloaded and installed the software on your computer. All right, let's open the software now. So this is my OBS Studio. Uh, actually, maybe it is an old version, uh, not the current version. Uh, by the way, it's okay. I'm going to click Yes to open the, the software. Okay. Mm. All right, so here's the software. By the way, I add some uh, some scene and some uh, input into this. I can delete everything, so it is similar to yours. And it is a scene number one, scene number two, and I'm going to delete it. Yes. All right. Uh, so this is the user interface. So what you see when you open the program, and actually it is very simple. Now here you have the preview window, like many other programs. So everything in here is what is going to be recorded or streamed, because this is a software for recording screen and also for streaming. Um, okay. And here the preview window, and uh, on top top left corner of the program you have some uh, some menus. Uh, the file edit and view and profile and scene collection and tools and have uh, by the way you don't need to care all about this stuff I will show you later about some important setting and on the left side you have the scene so you start with the scene firstly you have to to have one scene uh, to start your screen recording and here uh, next to the scene is the your input input meaning that you want to add the recording uh, option and uh, audio and microphone and all the stuff like that into the scene so it will be added here and you can create multiple scene here and you can add, uh, add many things here many input like your webcam your your audio and your microphone your system cell and uh, the screen uh, capture area or stuff like that okay so here we have the audio mixer. Audio mixer meaning that uh, uh, you can adjust the volume of the, the input, the microphone and the system sound and stuff like that here. So you have the slider and slider here and also the audio meter here. And on the right side you have uh, some scene transition and control controls. I'm sorry, controls. But the scene transition is something related to streaming so you don't need to care about that and for the control you have the start and stop recording and also the studio mode and setting and exit the program but you don't need to care all about this stuff uh, especially the start virtual camera and studio mode because you are going to you want to record your computer screen and start and stop recording is the one that you have to take a look and the setting setting is very important you need to go to the setting to change some something i'm going to show you later 
and the exit button. I think it is not it is not necessary because we can close the program and exit it. Okay. So uh, before before uh, trying to record your computer screen, uh, the first thing I highly recommended you to go to do is to change the folder or the, the location of your video recording because it is very important when you start a program and you uh, record. Uh, records uh, your video in one hour or two hour and you fi- find out that uh, your computer is out of uh, space and uh, it doesn't have enough space to to store the, uh, the video so the first thing you need to do is to go to your file and then you need to go to setting or you can click this setting button uh, it's okay but here we go to setting And I'm going to show you some settings, some important settings in OBS Studio now before we start adding screen recording and audio and stuff like that. Okay, uh, okay. So here it is setting uh, setting tab, and I I know there's many many things here. By the way, you need to care about this one. The first thing, general. Uh, here you can just change your language uh, to your language if you want, and change the theme. By the way, I think dark theme is okay. And down here we have some uh, some important thing, but uh, never mind. You don't need to care about them. That is the the only information you need to take care of in the general tab. Now you need to go to the output because this is where your screen recording will be safe and setting. Okay, so uh, scroll down the the window to here at the recording area. So this is a this is a folder or this is the location where your screen recording will be saved. So you need to select a, a arrive on your computer that has many space. All right? So to do that, you can click here, browse and open a folder on your computer. For example, here I cre- create I created a a folder called uh, OBS OBS uh, recording recording video and I'm going to select it and then I'm going to select the folder and that's done okay for other things like video quality if you want to change you can change it down here for example the recording format you can change it to mp4 otherwise it can be mkv or stuff like that but for normal video I want to uh, select mp4 because we are going to upload it to YouTube so it doesn't matter no need to high uh, video quality Okay, so that finished for the output, and you need to go to the video, and it is important to, yeah, to set set up your video recording. Here you have the base resolution, that is the monitor that you are going to record, or what is the size, the size of your monitors, that is the base resolution, and the output resolution is the 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 quality or the size of the video that you want to record. Okay, I want to create. I'm sorry. So we need to select 1080p if you want to upload to YouTube. It's the same. And for here, for the uh, FPS, uh, you can select 30 frames per second. If you are going to create a tutorial like this, and if you want to record gameplay, then you can select 60 60 frames per second. Yeah, it is. It is important to have a smooth playback video when when you playing games. Okay. So I'm going to select 30 frames. And the last thing you want to care here is about the hotkey because the hotkey is very important when you want to start your screen recording you can click here at the start recording button by the way sometimes you want to stop uh, you want to stop the screen recording you need to find the uh, the program and and press this uh, stop uh, recording button uh, using a hotkey is more convenient so you can find here for example the start recording you can um, hit F5 or stuff like that and for stop recording you can hit F7 to set up a hotkey for for your for your program okay and finally you can click apply and that's everything you need to do in the setting tab and we're going to click OK and that's, that's okay right and now you want to start your screen recording and the first thing you want to add your the screen and uh, what you are going to record right so again here at the scene area here I have a, a creator scene record screen and we want to add the input here so the first thing we want to add a screen capture right and we're going to select this one the plus button to add the input click here to add 
and for recording full screen or maybe the your computer screen that is normal normally I do uh, for all of my tutorial so what I'm going to do is to here uh, at the display capture so we can click here display capture just to, uh, to select the screen that we want to record right and we are going to click OK again and now it uh, we have another window so, so this is a window where you can choose the monitor that you want to to record record to record I'm sorry for my pronunciation okay and you can choose different display here by the way I have uh, only this uh, monitor so I'm going to select it and you can have the option to capture your cursor mouse cursor or not here so normally we will capture the mouse cursor so we click OK and that's that's okay for this uh, the display capture by the way if the size if the size of this one is not full screen or stuff like that you can add a filter or you can click the transform filter here uh, whenever you add an input here you have the the option to right click at the input and then you have some other option like transform and orders and stuff like that so if you click on the transform and you can click on fit to screen or straight to screen it will fit the screen the entire screen okay uh, but I'm, I don't need to do this so this is the screen capture and the second thing we need a webcam right uh, normally you will have the webcam down uh, right down here at the right corner so we are going to add another another input here so just click add and for the webcam we can click here the, this is a video capture device so select it and then click OK and now we have a windows again so this is uh, your webcam webcam settings so here you can select the device for example I have a Logitech here so I'm going to select this one and, and I can see myself right hello 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 and for some other other stuff here if you don't want to uh, to uh, go into the detail you just leave it by default so you we can click OK and now we have the webcam on the screen by the way we have to adjust the, the position and the size of our webcam right it is very important to do this in OBS studio because uh, later you cannot change the position and size of your webcam so I'm going to move it to here at this corner okay and resize it to smaller and that is for the webcam and the last thing we want to do is to add audio input uh, meaning that you need to record your your microphone and the system sound right so we are going to click add again so for the audio input we need to click here audio input capture and we are going to click OK and again we have the option again uh, audio option so we can select here or we select the device so normally we uh, we will select the USB microphone here this one so I'm going to select it and then I'm going to click OK so now we have the input input device and you can see the the audio level here at the at the audio mixer and the last thing is the audio desktop audio it is already here and we can turn it on and turn it off if you open some program or play the sound inside your computer uh, the audio volume will increase okay so that's everything and now you can set uh, you can start your screen recording I'm going to start it uh, right now so now OBS Studio is uh, recording my computer screen and I can minimize it and here's the website and stuff like that I can talk or something uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. and then I can press the hot key F7 to stop it right uh, by the way I'm going to uh, click the program and then click stop recording and now it already stopped and the program will start rendering your video and save it to the folder that you have just uh, selected in the output folder and uh, it depends on the length uh, of your video uh, the rec uh, the encoding process uh, we need time right uh, by the way we can uh, see the video by go to file and click show recording it will open the folder open the folder where you save your uh, video so this is uh, the video let's play it just double click to play it now so now OBS studio is uh, recording my computer screen and I can minimize it and here's the website and stuff like that I can talk or something uh, ever. that is nice right and that is very easy very simple 
you can record your computer screen, your webcam, and uh, audio from your microphone in OBS Studio. Okay, so I think that is uh, enough for today's tutorial. I hope you you learn something here. If you feel um, if you like the video, uh, just let me know by hitting the like button and uh, leave your comment below. If you're new here, con consider to subscribe to my channel for more video like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.